Thank you for joining me and tonight we are in a different location. It's a very zen, relaxing, relaxing, relaxing place. I wanted to try this as an alternative to a recording studio and it's so quiet here it's so quiet so quiet so quiet Shh. can you hear anything no because it's nestled in nature and there's no traffic, there's no neighbors, it's just the most perfect, perfect, perfect retreat for relaxation, relaxation, and rest, 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 rest. I really, I really needed something to clear my mind and get me, get me grounded and regenerated, recharged, I don't know. So, I'm glad I decided to try this. Um, it's kind of like a little mini staycation. Staycation, staycation, staycation. And I'm so glad that I get to share it with you, with you, with you, with you, with you, with you. And I needed something to get me re-inspired. I've kind of been in a bit of a rut this week and had a bit of a creative block, creative block, I guess. And I needed a fresh, fresh perspective, a fresh change to get me reconnected, reconnected, reconnected with you, of course. Because I get pretty sad when I don't um, post for a while and when I'm not in communication with you, when I'm not doing something to relax you and talking with you, reading the comments, writing back as much as I can. So that kind of puts me in a bit of a, I don't know, spiral of creative blocks, I guess. So I wanted to break out of that, break out of that, break out of that, and do something special. Special and different with you, of course. So here we are, away from all the hustle and bustle and noise everywhere. So, I think this was a really good call and I already feel so much more relaxed, so relaxed, 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 and I hope that that will transfer, transfer, transfer onto you, this feeling of zen and comfort peace, serenity, serenity. I'm sitting on this comfy ottoman in front of the bed. And there's all sorts of pillows and quilts. Very cozy pillows and quilts. kind of X 
extra warm looking pillow here.
Well, I want to clear away, clear away, clear away, clear away, clear away anything that no longer serves you and just leave you with seen this before. Um, I don't even know where it's from, who it's by, but we're going to uncover the kind of stories that are in here together, and I hope that you can relax, 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 and get ready for bed. It's going to be a cozy, 
So the first page I open up to is a story called Lucille Lucille by Lourdes Leon Oh, apparently that's Madonna's daughter Okay, let's see what she has to say Some interesting artwork we have here. Some kind of big creature and this little girl over here. Alright. Now close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. Lay back and close your eyes. Enter this magical world together and see what happens. Once upon a time, there were teeny tiny people living on the earth. The regular human beings didn't even know they existed. And they were right under their noses. The tiniest, as they liked to be called, lived in the floors. Walls and cracks and ceilings of homes owned by humans. One tiny family lived in a house owned by the Beatrix family. The Beatrix family had a little boy named Roger. He was nine years old and loved miniature toys. One day, he found a miniature backpack that was so well made that he knew that a teeny tiny person had made it. Meanwhile, a 13-year-old Tiny named Lucille was being scolded again for going into a human's bedroom. She was always told that humans were bad and could harm you. Lucille didn't want to believe that humans were bad. She wanted to find out for herself. That night, she decided to go and look for her backpack that she had lost. As she walked across Roger's room, she spotted her backpack right in the middle of the floor. She didn't notice the Beatrix family cat approaching her, and just as she grabbed her backpack, she heard a loud meow and spun around to see Roger pushing the cat away. Lucille stood astonished and a little scared. Roger bent down and smiled and handed her the backpack. Hi, my name is Roger. What is your name? My name is Lucille, she said, and that was the beginning of an amazing friendship to last their lives. So, now the picture makes more sense. I guess that's the cat, 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 and that's the little tiny person, Lucille. Well, this looks like a short little poem of a story. Uh, it pulled me in with cake in the title. So, if it's about cake, then I want to know more. It's called The Little Girl Who Lived in a Cake. I guess this is her. Oh, 
really seem like a little girl there, but I don't know what's going on. Okay, by Tara Palmer Tompkinson. There was once a little girl who lived in a cake. Her bedroom only took one hour to bake. Instead of grunge, she only wore sponge. And what a fine home that cake did make. Her clothes were yummy and tasted so fine. Her hats were orange, made of icing and rind. Designers can't beat shoes you can eat. I only wish that her house was mine. Me too. 